Australia, home for a wide array of interesting wildlife. However, one of them stands out from the others. People come in and they'll be like, hey, I just saw the weirdest bird. <laughs> I just took this photo of it, like, what the hell is this? The Australian White Ibis. One of the three native ibis species of Australia. What's different with this one is, well, let's just say they're less visually pleasing. Life is hard in the city, but life finds a way. Over the last 40, 50 years, the ibis population has gradually increased across the Sydney region and that birds have shifted their diets from foraging in natural wetlands and grassland areas to going to the bins, becoming the bin chicken. It's nice to see that they're, they're doing well. You know, they've adapted very well and I think that's impressive. Extremely rare in the urban areas 50 years ago, the bin chicken's population has experienced tenfold increase ever since, with over 10,000 individuals in Sydney alone. But the real question is, would this be a problem? A lot of people talk about ibis as a problem. Uh, they certainly are in some circumstances. Uh, I agree it's not ideal for them to be nesting in a schoolyard or some public places such as that. Um, but the larger number of ibis in the Sydney region hasn't been shown to be an ecological problem, which means they're not having a negative impact on other native species. They, they mind their own business a lot of the time. You know, they're not like rats or something where they'll, where they'll actually invade your personal space, like your house. You know, they stay in their palm trees and they mind their own business. Despite their dirty habits and inappropriate manners, these birds have actually been helping the residents of the city in a way you can't imagine. What I found out about from my father, who's a farmer, and my brother-in-law, who's also living in rural Victoria, and my father said that they're very important for pasture lands because they are the only bird that eats the larvae of a grub that destroys grasses. Anytime you see a bin chicken, just remember that they can clear the pasture lands for your steaks. So, there would not be healthy, rich pasture lands for grass-fed beef out in the country or any other um, animals that are being used in the country for human consumption, shall we say? The bin chickens has always been a part of the rural landscape. But far before that, these water birds have also been a part of the inland wetlands their natural habitat. What has happened is that the inland wetlands have had reductions in their water availability and reduction in the frequency and the, the magnitude, so the size, of the floods. And this has meant that a number of species have had a, a negative impact associated with that la uh, lack of water in that system. The ibis I talk about to people, I say they're the messenger. They're here flying the flag for all those other species that haven't adapted and they're trying to get in our faces to say, hey, you stuff that up out there, we need to do something, we need to fix this up. If we misuse the land um, and we don't respect what, what fortune we have in our water resource, we're the ones that are going to miss out. And I think the birds, are an indication to us that that could happen to us.
our feathered guests have come a long way, learning and adapting to a changing world. As absurd as it may sound, the bin chickens are worthy of our respect and admiration. And now it is our time as hosts to serve our guests. The people of Sydney should love the Ibis. It's that simple. And it'd be great if they all participate in projects like the wing tags and help us learn about them. Uh, or other projects like the Aussie Backyard Bird Count, which is run by BirdLife, asking people each bird week in October to report all the birds they see in their backyards or the local park. Uh, we need to learn to live with the biodiversity in the city. We actually need to try and encourage even more biodiversity in the city. So more plants, more animals. Um, just concrete is not good. It's, it's not healthy for us and it's actually having a negative impact on the species that do live here. So certainly we need more love, less hate. I'd like to say welcome the Ibis chicken to your world. But I don't like it being a chicken. It's not a chicken. It's a very elegant bird. They're beautiful. They've been celebrated in art and there's a reason why. I think maybe find out really what the animal is before you despise it. And maybe you too could contribute to its world by giving it more waterways to live in. Respect your local bin chickens. Try to look at them in a different light, you know. Try to admire the beauty that is all around you. Love the bin chicken. They're an Aussie battler. An Aussie battler indeed, John. An Aussie battler indeed. One research project I'm involved in is the Wing Tags project where we're marking individual Australian white ibis with a coloured tag on the wing and three digits. And we have an app called Wing Tags where we're asking you to report your sightings. And that helps us to learn about individuals and the entire population and how they use local sites, move between sites at a regional scale or even move between sites across the country. And so we encourage you to report your sightings even if it's the same bird every bloody day, we're still interested. It's, it's very cool for us. 